and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Bob Dylan Deep Dive. We have reached his fourth album, <clears throat> Another Side of Bob Dylan. Um, sort of the end of an era. We're going to be heading into the Rock Trilogy after this one. This is the last album for a little bit that is uh, just Bob and his guitar. Um, and, you know, there's, there's something kind of interesting about it in that sense because the songwriting has definitely changed drastically from the times they are changing and considering it's an album that came out in the same year it is uh pretty remarkable to think about um i think overall the songwriting is is a step up um i think the topics are more varied and there's probably a greater melodic sensibility within the songwriting um where this album falters for me is in the arrangements and the the versions of the songs the recordings um it's not my favorite vocal album for dylan um and uh, it's unfortunate but a lot of these songs have versions that i like more from other bands like uh spanish harlem incident chimes of freedom all i really want to do and my back pages are all some of the birds best dylan covers um and it ain't me babe done brilliantly by the turtles as well um, not to say that these versions are without merit. Um, in fact, some of them I probably like as much um, as some of those covers. But when, you know, half the album, and a lot of those songs are among my favourites on the album, there are versions elsewhere that I like either as much or more. Um, that's kind of where this album falters. Um, I, I, this version of All I Really Want to Do has grown on me a lot. I really didn't like it the first time I heard it. Um, it's all very uh, idiosyncratic vocal from Dylan, but I've really come to like it now. Um, I think Chimes of Freedom is another highlight, lyrical masterpiece. It's probably the only one that I would say is not improved by its cover. I do like the Birds version, but I think I like the Dylan version a little bit more. Um, you know, you got songs like I Shall Be Free, number 10, which I don't think is too essential. Um, you know, it's it's a bit it's a bit of a drag. Um, Motorcycle Nightmare is, is a fun little story song. Um, my Back Pages, I think, is the masterpiece of the album, even though I, I can't quite give it a full score because I do think the Birds version takes it to another level. Um, I think this is one of his top lyrical songs. I've said as much before and I stand by it, um, sort of how he's addressing himself and how he's changed as a person and as an artist. And and one thing I really do love about My Back Pages is how he's sort of looking back at this whole naive worldview that that he had. Um, just earlier this year um, and he's sort of resentful of that and he's sort of uh, I don't know he's sort of announcing himself as this new voice um, and he he's sort of t t coming away from this sort of political activism uh, which is kind of interesting through that song I Don't Believe You has some again great acoustic guitar playing which I'm going to say on a lot of these albums um, and he has great vocal on that song as well uh, Ballad in Plain D <laughs> Talk about an album tanker. That uh, probably the worst song, definitely the worst song up to this point in the discography. Um, <clears throat> it's overall in self pity, which is not always a bad thing, but the deflection of blame, lack of metaphor, and lack of melody really tanks the song and makes it a real struggle to get through. I find no emotional resonance with the song. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but thankfully the album ends really strong after that with "It Ain't Me, Babe." which uh, is defiant. It's, uh, I don't know, there's something really cool about the song. Um, and yeah, I might slightly prefer the Turtles version, but they're both really, really excellent. Um, one of my favourite Bob songs from this era. Um, yeah, and then uh, overall thoughts, I think the album probably doesn't flow as well as a full listen um, as some of these other ones. I, I You know, it feels lesser than the sum of its parts because of what I mentioned before, the, the problems that I have with the, the performances and the the performance of, of Dylan and the arrangements. Um, and I, th I think times they are changing at higher highs um, as well. So uh, a decent album, which I'm going to give a six out of 10. I think it's, it's pretty decent. I'll probably come back to it again at some point. I'll definitely come back to specific songs from it, but it's not, this isn't my preferred era of Dylan. We're going to get to that very soon. Um, and yeah, it's never going to be one of my favorites. And, but 
I was glad I revisited it. There were some songs like I Don't Believe You, which really shot up my ranks, as you can see now. Um, next to me are the track scores, uh, my highest rated being My Back Pages, which I would say is my favourite on the album, and It Ain't Me, Babe. And my lowest rated, of course, being Ballad in Plain D. Um, I wonder if we'll get many songs worse than that in this era of Dylan. Um, really rough. And yeah, my overall score would be a 6 out of 10, which would place it number 3. As you can see, debut at the bottom, this is number 3, times zero changing number 2, and 3 within Bob Dylan. At the moment, standing tall at number 1. So, it will let me know what you think of another side of Bob Dylan. Um, I imagine there are people who like it a lot more than me. In fact, I know there are people that like it a lot more than me. Um, and yeah, maybe uh, an album that is a little bit less than the sum of its parts, but we got three excellent albums coming up. Uh, quite the successive run, starting with 1965, Bringing It All Back Home, which I have talked about on the channel. I've talked about these all these next three on the channel on the Album of the Year series, so um, it'll be nice to go a bit more in depth than I could in, in those episodes. So yeah, hopefully you'll join me for those and hopefully... I'll catch you soon.